Hello and welcome to Let's Replay. Uh, this time around, I'm joined by Eurogamer's Wesley Yim Paul. Hello, Wesley. Hello, Ellie. Is it Wes or Wesley? What would you prefer for the purpose of the video? Uh, Wes, which is short for Mega Wes. <laughs> Obviously, of course it is. <laughs> uh, so, Mega Wes, what are we playing today? We're playing uh, Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Ah, now why have you picked this for your Let's Replay? Um, probably because it's, it's, well, it's a game that I absolutely loved. I uh, played lots and lots and lots of it. Uh, back in the day, and uh, it it was really influential. I've been playing Street Fighter two related games for God twenty odd years, maybe mm. or fifteen years now. So. Well, it's a good choice you picked it because um, also it's actually one of the games I am supremely good at. I'm absolutely <laughs> excellent at this video game. Right. Okay. I've actually been playing it for about forty years. Forty um, years. Yeah, wow. You were uh, you were the very first uh, Street Fighter. Player. Yeah. Got me through the war. This did. Uh, <laughs> So, so what's going on? Who, who, is that you? Are you Guile? Yeah, there? I'm Guile. So I was all right, like when a lot of people pick Ryu and Ken, uh, Ryu and Ken, this the original console version. But I always like Guile. I don't know why. He's a charge character, so you have to hold uh, left back and then press right and a button to do his special moves, or down and then up and a button, rather than those sort of down forward. Uh, fireball motions, and I always found that better. I don't know why. It's just just gravitated towards me. I think it's secretly his hair, Wesley. Yeah. Mega Wes, sorry, I think that's what you uh, what his, you liked. You could balance a tray of drinks on that, couldn't you? His hair is is pretty special. I also quite like doing a really slow sonic boom and then following it off the screen like that. Oh. And then I can hit them. Uh, while they get hit, it, that's that's kind of street. It's fire. like watching poetry. Yeah. If poetry was really violent 2D <laughs> action. I originally started playing this game. The first time I played this game was in an arcade, which uh, even predate magazines, I think. And um, I remember playing it um, in a. Where was the first one I played it? I think the first time I played it was in an arcade in. Streatham Common. We used to get there was a fair that came to town once a year, and um, part of the fair, like a fun fair, was just basically a truck, and inside they had loads of arcade machines. And I remember this being one of them. And you know, I put in all my pocket money basically to play this game, and just could not, could not believe it. And uh, it ended up being in um, Mega Bowl in Streatham. I don't know if you ever went oh, to Mega Bowl and Streatham. Not familiar with Mega Bowl, but Mega Bowl and like Streatham to... was basically a bowling alley. It had the Laser Quest in there as well, but oh. it also had arcades. And I used to go there after school, put all my money into Street Fighter 2 and play it against who I thought were triads at back in the day. <laughs> real life triads, I thought they were. And I thought, this is so cool. I'm playing this Japanese game with real life triads. I'm the coolest <laughs> person on the planet. Even though triads aren't even no, from No, I know, I know. I'm I was a stupid like 12 year old. Ignorantly kid. racist. Well, yeah. I suppose all racists are ignorant, but yeah, <laughs> you, especially, you, the especially me it, at the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I used to I used to play this at um, Mega Bowl in Streatham against people from my school and just complete strangers. We'd put money down on the machine, you know, real old school. Like I got oh. next, that sort of thing. And I played it oh, just years and the various different versions that came out. Um, were you the best? I wasn't the best, no. I really was not the best. I mean, I was one of the best, but um, You're not a the best. Yeah. Um, and the uh, the thing I remember is like the best players who I thought were triads, but but they were just they were just uh, really really good players. What they would do, right, is they sit down in the arcade cabinet playing this game, uh, and they both pick Zangief, who is the Russian wrestler, the massive Russian wrestler. Now he's got. The highest damage move in the game, the spinning pile driver, it's like this iconic Street Fighter 2 special move. Um, and what they would do, I'd sit there watching them gawping at them and think they were the coolest people on the planet. They're, they'd sit there, they'd put their money in, they'd start their match and they'd walk towards each other, both Zangief, and they'd do a, a spinning pile driver. And the person whose in input command was correct, the person who got the spinning pile driver to work the first, won the game and the other person just got up and just left. <laughs> and that was how all the cool kids played Street Fighter 2 in Mega Bowl and Streatham, like, who I thought were triads. Oh, and I thought, man. oh my god, that guy who's lost, he's basically going to get his arm chopped off. 
Oh. I thought it was the it was the coolest thing. Who knew? Strep bed was strep bed. Strep bed. Stretton, that's, that's next door. Uh, Stretton was like the cradle of competitive it gaming. It was just intense, and I would like be like, "Can I play next, please?" <laughs> and it was. Uh, I really I put hairs on my chest that that. And the triads would be like, "What's your name, boy?" And you'd yeah. be like, "It's Mega Wes." It's Mega Wes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm one of you. Was yeah. Mega Wes your Street Fighter nickname? It's no. It's what I pretended to call myself when I thought it was cool when I was <laughs> ten and eleven. Yeah, yeah, but you've moved on since then, yeah, as we've discovered just, today. Yeah, I'm Neo-Wiz now. Uh, <laughs> I'm very impressed with how readily you've picked up sort of what's... Yeah, this is... Is the, it all coming back to you? Yeah, is it muscle memory it pretty wired much, into It is, you? but the moves have stayed the same for the last 15 years. Like, they have sonic booms. Gar's sonic boom is, is hold back and then forward and punch, and it's been that way for years. Um, who, was your, who was your, like, who was your nemesis when you were a kid? Who was, like, like this, hated like Blanca? Douchebag. It's that he electric shock thing, isn't he's, it? He's just a, he's just annoying. He's really, really annoying, frustrating to play against. I still don't like him. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I literally played this game until my fingers bled. <laughs> All right. So um, before it came, Street Fighter of '69. Right. This is right. Before it came out on console in the UK, it had already been out in arcades. I um, convinced my parents to rent me. A, a SNES, wow. right, from Movie Time Video in Clapham, right? <laughs> Loving rent, the geographical locations yeah, is very rent, important rent, to you, I don't even know if that's still there. Rent me a SNES from Clapham um, with the Japanese version of Street Fighter 2, oh. right? And it had to, it had, the only way it could work if it went in one of those pa- converters. Oh my so God. it had to have Mario in the back of the converter and the Japanese um, Street Fighter 2. My parents had no idea what, what it was. And they rented it for the weekend. And I had um, the best weekend the of best, your life. The best birthday party. Like all my friends and people who came out of the closet, I had no idea they were because I had Street Fighter Two before it came out. Oh right, I had the okay. Japanese version. I thought it was a metaphor. Uh, <laughs> and I was playing it so much that that night, even after every all my friends had gone home, um, that my thumbs bled. I remember looking down at the SNES controller and there was blood all over it. And the reason why, right? This is not even a joke. The reason why is because I was desperately trying to do Zangief's spinning power driver. Now everyone knows that the input command for that is you're supposed to do a 360 degree yep. rotation yep. with the SNES D-pad like, which is, and press all three punch buttons. Yeah, you have to press all three punch buttons, don't you? At the same yeah, time. Now same I, time. Didn't, I didn't know this. I was trying to decipher the Japanese oh manual God. that came with the Japanese version of the game and I couldn't understand a word of it. Wow. And I was and I was trying looking at it going what the hell does that mean looking at all the the Japanese trying to work out how to do this spinning power driver and I was doing all sorts with the pad and I couldn't do it my thumbs were bleeding they were ble- there was blood all over the SNES controller and I got into a fit blood I got tears. into a fit and I started having a fit I'm not even joking what? yep I started having a fit. And like my, a tantrum or like yeah, an epileptic like, fit? Like an epileptic fit because I was so frustrated that I couldn't do it. And I started crying and just freaking out. And my parents had to calm me down and take it like take it away from me and like get me to rest and like soothe oh me, God. Like, give me water and everything. I was so frustrated and annoyed myself that I couldn't do this being power driver that I had like bled my thumbs into oblivion and I had a wow. fit. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that must have been a not such a happy twenty-first birthday after all. <laughs> yeah, no, it was the best birthday. I've never had a birthday like it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, no, it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, don't was don't it? don't feel bad. It was awesome. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Sure That's how much bad, I love this game. Really. That's how much I love this game. Yeah. I'll play it until my fingers bleed. No wonder they call you Mega Wes. Exactly. Yeah. I might start calling you Mega Brian Adams Wes, but um, <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, here we are, the only other two female characters in the game, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Chun Li yeah. was my favourite, unsurprisingly. Shocking. Yeah, um, yeah. No, Chun Li, Chun Li, I think, she's is badass. pretty. Yeah, she's, she's really good. Um, and my technique was to just make her jump all over the screen. As yeah, no, as and she was really annoying because she, she, you could, with her, jump onto the back here and then jump off like the magical side of the thing. You probably never did that, but there you go. What? Are you saying that because I'm a woman? No, I'm saying because you're crap at Street Fighter. No, that's a fair point. Yeah, but that's not because I'm a woman. <laughs> no, 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 just crap. Partly, probably, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so you see the guy I'm fighting now, Balrog. Yeah. Yeah, he's a boxer. Yeah. Now, in the Japanese version of this game, he's called M. Bison. 
<gasps> and the reason they changed it uh, to Balrog for the Western version of the game is because they worried that Mike Tyson would sue them. Really? Yeah, really. And ah. of course, you know, it is blatantly Mike Tyson, right? I mean. Yeah, but Mike Tyson is renowned for his tolerant, intelligent attitudes to no, all things. But so. uh, yeah, back in the day, they were yeah, so they were worried, so they changed it. Oh, they right. named uh, they named him uh, Balrog. Uh, they just switched the. Isn't boss Balrog characters. like a character in Lord of the Rings or something? Yeah, that yeah, up. that's the thing that who like kill, doesn't kill, but sort of kills uh, Gandalf, right? Yeah. That big fire guy. Yeah, so I love that. They were just like, well, we can't use Mike Tyson's name. Let's just go totally <laughs> out there. Let's just pick a wizard or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I remember this, the kicking in of the yeah, cars. Yeah, In the arcade, the dude comes on the screen and goes, oh, my car. Yeah. Doesn't do that. Much. And then, of course, in Streatham, you could go outside and see this scene being reenacted live pretty yeah, much every yeah, Saturday yeah. night. Yeah, that's, that's why adults like kids playing this, because they thought, well, if they're doing it in this, they're not doing it all life. <laughs> That's how that's how parents thought in the eight in the nineties. That's uh, in the eighties. The eighties, nineties. It all blurs into one. Well, this is what ninety one, ninety two. This the SNES version came out in ninety two, I think, in the UK. Yeah. But the game originally came out in ninety one, I think. Yeah. It was certainly in arcades before then. I remember um, I remember kicking off rude, kicking rude boys off on arcade machines of this to play. I was that desperate in Streatham Common. And you know, people who would, who would basically mug me. I, I, I get mugged to play this game. Did you? Do you think at that age, the homoerotic subtext of the game was lost on you a little yeah. bit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Probably, pretty much. I didn't. All I cared about was beating people. Yeah. But looking at Balrog now in his denim two-piece with the hot pants, you kind of think. Oh god, I got beaten. Yeah. Oh, Wes, Mega yeah. Wes. Be no, Not this, so mega now. This guy, he is, he is the king of, of douchebag. This guy. I like Vega. Oh, I think no, he's, he's well yes. annoying. How come he's got a weapon? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well. He's cheating. He's the only one. He's just such a cheat. Yeah, you're not going to beat him. I'm going to beat him. Yeah. Come on, Mega Wes, kick his face off. You've got to kick you the can, little claw off, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, you can, yeah. And you can kick his mask off. Or was that in later versions? I can't remember. Do you want me to do this bit for you? Uh, you might have to show me how to do it. Yeah, no problem. Oh. No, come on, I've got faith. Come on, you've got guile. Literally, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just throwing. Come bit. on. Yeah, this guy was a real, really annoying. I can't, I can't get over how slow it is. Well, I'm used to I'm used to like the latest versions, you know, or the even the one after this was much faster. I mean, how do you think the series has developed or or not since? <laughs> well, since the, the a lot glory of people say it's basically it. hasn't changed much since this game came out. Mm. Um, I think at a base level, this game is is so good that they haven't had to change it much for it to be for, to be great. Um, they tried all sorts though, you know, they've tried. Um, 3D versions, you know, they've, they've, the third game was pretty hardcore, it had a lot of advanced uh, systems in it mm. and that's when it started to lose its popularity. Um, I'm going to die. Uh, come on, come on Wes, don't give up, don't give I'm up. Dead. Well, that's because you said I'm, you're a quitter. Yeah, I am. But uh, yeah, the I think it's it's simple in, in a way. I think by their, by their very nature fighting games are hard, right? They involve fairly complex input commands uh, that it's not just you know pressing buttons and stuff happens you have to do in you have to do like a direction or a combination of directions and button presses so I think they're hard by the nature but um, you know back in the day this this was one of the biggest games in the world if not the biggest game in the world so you know a lot of people played it and a lot of so there were a lot of lapsed Street Fighter players that that got into Street Fighter 4 when it came out um, because it was very similar and it worked very in a lot of the same ways, a lot of the same input commands. People remember doing all the same moves and mm. the rest of it. So, yeah. Yeah, Has uh, any game made your fingers bleed quite no. as much as this one? I mean, there's games have had worse impact on me, like World of Warcraft definitely had a, a worse impact on me than this game. But, uh, well, we had to call you Wizard Wiz for three years, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, it was a nightmare. Dark times. Yeah. Oh, look, this, this is what happens. Oh, yeah, look, get, here we go. I forgot, it gets on the fence and you have to run away. Yeah. Come on, through the barricades. Well, do you know what? Game. I feel like we should probably. Um... I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was... that was beautiful. That was absolutely gorgeous. Did the cameras get that? <laughs> I think so. 
Well, that's a pretty decisive victory, isn't it? Well, um, I think I'm going to leave you just to uh, just to get on with this, Wes. Thanks, but thanks. Um, thank you very much for showing us Street Fighter 2 and okay. telling us your wonderful stories of <laughs> triads, blood and streatham. It's thank been you. magical. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You laughing at me playing no, I'm sorry, this I'm video not, game? It's all good. Yeah, maybe, maybe she. Oh, well dodged, and the wall jump, and a throw. That's yeah, what I was talking about. What do you think of my of my performance so far? I think you are. Shut up. <laughs> Don't ruin my focus. I'm in the zone. I, I like how you're punching all the time. <laughs> um, instead of kicking, it's quite. It's different. It's fresh. Know? Fresh. Different, yeah. It's contemporary. It's, yeah. Why not punch? There we go. That come was a on, kick. come on! Yes, he's dizzied. You've got it, you've got it. Yes! That's how it's done. I feel like, you know, I've trained you well. That's it, see that? Not, no blood. No, no blood, but, you know, no thunder either.